In-row spacing dictates the number of slips or cuttings that a grower needs to cut in order to plant an acre of sweet potato. This is an important management decision because it helps to determine potential yield and economic returns. For example, if a grower prepares the field and each row is 40 inches wide and plants are spaced 12 inches apart, that means that the grower has to cut 13,000 plants per acre. Now let's assume that each slip or plant costs about five cents each. A grower has to pay $650 just for slips alone in addition to his other production costs. Now let's assume further that all 13,000 plants survive and each plant will produce two pounds of storage roots at harvest. This is equivalent to 26,000 pounds per acre or 650 bushels that a grower can sell. Now typically a grower will get between 18 and 20 dollars per bushel depending on location and time of the year. Now one might ask the question, what if we increase the planting density 16 percent more? That means planting them closer at 10 inch spacing. Well based on prior research and what we know today, the answer is not so straightforward. For example, several years ago researchers in North Carolina concluded that the optimum planting density for Beauregard varied according to planting date and harvest time. They determined that closer in-row spacing benefited the earlier planting date, while the wider in-row spacing benefited the later planting dates. In contrast, researchers in Alabama determined that there was no benefit in planting Beauregard plants at 10 and 8 inches compared to 12 inches. These conflicting results lead to uncertainty in on-farm decision-making when it comes to deciding the best in-row spacing. Our work at the Sweet Potato Research Station has identified another variable that impacts in-row spacing. We have found out that applying just half an inch of water or irrigation at planting time significantly increases survival of plants, therefore improving potential yield and expected harvest times. We've also determined that at certain conditions or environments, increased planting density can be beneficial, especially in planting during hot and dry conditions where often a lot of plants die off. This is where those extra plants compensate for the missing plants. The variety biobel, if grown under carefully managed irrigation regime and planted 14 inches apart, can have the same yield potential as when it's grown 12 inches apart. This underscores the importance of optimizing planting density based on irrigation management. At 14 inch spacing with irrigation, you really maximize the number of storage roots per plant in the variety biobel, and we do not need to plant them closer than 14 inch because if each plant in this field survives and each plant will produce the same amount of roots, that is, we expect significant yield potential from this field. This demonstrates that in-row spacing by itself is not a sole determinant of yield, but other variables like irrigation and planting time as well. Considering all available data information, it is evident that in-row spacing has to be optimized for each farm's management practices. In fact, within a farm, the optimum in-row spacing may vary from one field to the other, especially if it's irrigated versus non-irrigated. Today, we are in a field where we're working with the management team in investigating the optimum planting density for Biobel grown under a center pivot irrigation. We thank the Black Gold team for allowing us to work with them in further improving their management practices. We will also continue to work with other sweet potato growers in Louisiana to help improve their productivity and economic sustainability. We thank our growers for supporting us, and we thank the Louisiana Sweet Potato Commission for funding our work. Ooh.